May the 26th, 2021. Guys, we got some problems coming up today and tomorrow, especially across the uh, Midwest section of the country, and it's going to move north uh, and northeast of that by Thursday. But they're saying ferocious winds will be among the top concerns on Wednesday as severe weather unfolds across Kansas and surrounding areas from AccuWeather. These severe thunderstorms will have high potential for damaging winds, large hail, heavy rain, and tornadoes from eastern Wyoming into South Dakota. Now, let me say this. The Dakotas have been in a bad drought situation. I think Nebraska up in that area, too. And uh, so it's going to be a blessing as far as the rainfall. But we're going to be dealing with 100 mile an hour plus winds. Guys, this is crazy. That You're dealing with Cat 2 wind force as far as a cat 2 hurricane and at 111 miles an hour you're at a cat 3. now according to the national weather service their storm prediction center moderate and this is what this storm is peaking out at uh, it's not extreme but it would be extreme to have straight line 100 mile an hour winds regardless it says it's the fourth highest level on the warning system for severe thunderstorms and that's what they have up now the number in the threat area when accounting for the slight risk areas across the southern plains and northeastern U.S. is 57.4 million people. Now, it's quiet here in the south-central part of Mississippi. It's uh, got a few clouds. It was overcast this morning, but now the sun's out. But that's going to change by tonight, and that's what they're talking about. It's even calm in some of the areas that you're looking at here on this first map. But uh, much of Wednesday is likely to be quiet, they're saying, but the thunderstorms will begin to develop by late afternoon. As the storms first develop, the main threat will be large hail. Guys, all of this is going to happen and develop pretty quick, so if, even if your area is uh, nice weather now and not too uh, stormy, things are going to change quickly. They're saying by the evening and overnight, individual thunderstorms are likely to merge into a cluster. It will significantly increase the threat of damaging wind gusts and a few tornadoes. As the storms continue to build tonight, the risk for severe weather will continue to be significant, especially through uh, southern Nebraska and to northern Kansas, where the ingredients come together uh, more prominently for thunderstorms to spin. Wind gusts could reach an AccuWeather local storm max of 100 miles per hour across the parts uh, of the central U.S. For comparison, a Cat 2 hurricane, like I said, in the Atlantic on the east um, or East Pacific Oceans, has uh, wind speeds from 96 to 110, and the F tornado can generate winds anywhere from 86 to 110 miles an hour also. And as you get further south, there's going to be a threat of severe weather in, through Oklahoma and the Texas panhandles. Check this out. Thunderstorm coverage is not expected to be as widespread, but wind, large hail, and a tornado or two will be possible. In the wake of a cold front, Wyoming, Nebraska, and western Kansas will have a much quieter day Thursday. That's what's uh, forcing these storms. Cooler air to the north and warm, moist air to the south, and the winds are going to be trapped between the two. And, you know, it's like a wind tunnel effect. It says that, uh, however, severe thunderstorms are likely to shift further east. As the storms continue through the central plains on Thursday, severe thunderstorm risk will continue through eastern Kansas into Missouri. They're saying the greatest chance of tornadoes is expected to be in southeastern Kansas and southwestern Missouri Thursday. And again, that's tomorrow. The risk for severe weather will be lower by the end of the week as the cold front continues to move southward. The most likely area for severe thunderstorms Friday will be in Texas and Louisiana. Strong winds, heavy downpours, and an isolated tornado would be uh, the most likely threats. And guys, we're coming up on the holiday weekend here, and there's going to be a lot of people traveling and a lot of people outside this time of year. It says thunderstorms may return to portions of Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas by Sunday or Monday. So as you travel this weekend, keep in mind of these problem areas where you could it will blow 18-wheelers um, off the road. That You see it many times. You could have significant crop damage if you like the corn corn farmers or some of the other crops that are raised across the nation. Many crops could be um, in trouble just like it was last year when we had those high speed wind storms that came through. And notice uh, also, like I said, holiday weekend, a lot of people be on the beaches. Notice that warm and humid air at the bottom of the map coming up through the central uh, Texas coast. 
More than likely, as the wind speeds that this is feeding picks up in speed, it will force that to pick up. So you can more than likely have a very we uh, windy weekend, and uh, there be probably be uh, real current flags out, things like that. So pay attention. And if you're on the beach, make sure you never take your eyes off your kids because they can disappear in a minute. I've seen it happen before, guys. We're watching these storms as they build through the afternoon. If, when it starts to get severe, watch for a report coming up from our uh, YouTube channel here. It's a heads up. Be safe.